Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an eyeshadow palette declutter. I always do one big declutter every year and I definitely wanted to do it before the new year. Um, lately I have been focusing on hitting pan on products, using products up, and actually like rotating my eyeshadow palettes, making sure they all get a lot of use. And I definitely wanted to narrow down my collection to products I actually love. And then also with my declutters, I always end up donating the majority of what I declutter. Um, sometimes there's a couple things here and there that I'll pass along to friends and family. There's sometimes like one or two palettes that are really gunky and old and I don't want to give to anybody. So those end up getting tossed, but the majority of my palettes always end up being donated to Project Beauty Share. It's been such a lifesaver whenever I am doing declutters. It doesn't make me feel like I'm wasting products because I can pass them along to Project Beauty Share. They um, sanitize them and they pass them along to different women's organizations. I will leave all the information about them below. It's awesome that you can just ship your products there because a lot of different charities, um, they don't accept used makeup products. So if you're looking for something, definitely check them out. Um, super, super simple process. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. If you guys wanna see me declutter a lot of eyeshadow, go through my entire collection, all my thoughts about every eyeshadow in my collection, then just keep on watching. All right, so these two bottom drawers are my eyeshadow drawers. They're a complete mess because I knew this declutter was coming up and I didn't want to bother organizing my palettes until I actually finalized my palette collection. Um, so basically, this is a drawer that has my more often used eyeshadow palettes or like what I'm using lately. Um, and then this one has like a bit older palettes. Generally, the palettes I don't use as much are in here, but then I have like some palettes that I do use a lot that just didn't fit into this one. So, um, my goal is to get everything into one drawer. So that means about half of this is gonna be decluttered. I don't know if that is, I mean, of course it's possible, but I don't know how willing I am to do that once we get into it. Um, roughly half would be good to declutter roughly half of the palettes or close to that. I'll be happy with it. If there's still overflow into the second drawer, that's okay. But basically I want it to mostly, uh, fit into one drawer. So let's dig in, I guess. <laughs> um, okay. So I have a few ideas of things that I know for sure that I want to get rid of. And then some I'm gonna be pretty iffy about. Okay, so I'm gonna start off easy. This is the Too Faced Pretty Mess palette. I did get this as PR from Too Faced. Um, I didn't know I was gonna get it and I wasn't planning on purchasing it. Um, and then once I actually used it, I was underwhelmed by it. It's still in really, really great condition. I honestly only used it a couple times. I am totally gonna donate this for sure. Okay, we got one down. Here are some new palettes that are definitely not um, gonna get rid of. They're just palettes that are some of my favorites. Well, we have this KKW Mario palette that I just talked about in my KKW Artist Muse video. I'm gonna hang on to this. I want to start playing with this palette again for sure. So this is definitely gonna go in the keep pile. I'll show you guys um, what each pile looks like at the end of getting through each drawer, but I just wanna separate everything out. This one is newer as well, Natasha Denona Metropolis Palette. This is a gorgeous palette. I've only had it a couple weeks. I love it so much. Of course I'm keeping it. This is like one of the newest palettes in my collection and I actually really, really enjoy that. Um, maybe I need to make a maybe pile as well because this is a palette that's gonna go in the maybe pile. This is from Lorac. This is the Pressed Pigments Palette. You know what? No, we don't have any room for maybes. Let's just declutter this because it's gorgeous, it's a great formula, but I'm not gonna miss it at all. And somebody else is gonna really love this palette. So this declutter is gonna be yes or no, answers only, no hesitations. Let's get rid of this one, Naked Reloaded, this was boring. I did purchase this, I was actually looking forward to it. Honestly, it's pretty underwhelming, it's fine, but that's the best thing I could say about it. It's just fine. I have these colors in a million other palettes um, that are just like a creamier, more pigmented formula. I don't need to keep that. Um, Elf, Rose, Gold, Sunset. I actually just got like some new Elf palettes that I'm gonna try out. This one I did love for a while. It's a great palette, 
Um, I'm obviously not going to use it up. I've had it for a while and it's not my, you know, number one palette in my collection. I basically just want to keep the things that I love at worst. The, like, I want to have palettes that I at least really, really like. I cannot have anything that I feel mediocre about. Like, I'm not doing that in 2020. So we're going to start things off fresh. Alamar Cosmetics. This is a palette. This is, what is it? Um, La Reina del Caribe palette. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Reina del Caribe. Um, I always tell you guys, if there's things in Spanish and makeup, it makes me very emotional. Me hace muy orgullosa. And I want to keep palettes with Spanish in them. And I also love this color story. Um, this is one of those palettes that I don't use often enough because I forget I have it because it's buried under junk. Not that this is all junk. A lot of this is actually really nice. But it's buried under some junky palettes. So it gets lost. And it makes me upset. So I want to keep using this one for sure love the color story love the theme of that palette this is one um brand new from my boxy charm this is storybook cosmetics this is the little red Riding hood palette you guys can see i just put this to the test the other day it's actually an awesome palette um very creamy formula beautiful colors in here just some really great shades in here really pigmented creamy really loving this palette so far um Excited to keep playing with that one. This one is the ABH Soul Tree Palette. Ooh, it matches my nails. This is one of my favorite Anastasia palettes. Um, I don't think it's available at Sephora anymore, but it is available, I think, at Macy's and then the Anastasia website, this shade, and this one, and this one. These are some of the happiest shades in this drawer. Um, yeah, love this palette so much. Makes me so excited, and it's another palette that sometimes gets buried, but it's honestly maybe one of my top 10 palettes in my collection. This is the Too Faced Natural Eyes. I actually really like this palette, um, specifically Honey Pot and Chocolate Martini. This is the number one dark brown with glitter in there. This is my favorite thing to put in my outer corner. I love this shade specifically so much, and then also Honey Pot is one of my favorite golds of all time. So that is why we're keeping this palette. I have a bunch of these little palettes from Wet n Wild. I have a few from like some of their other collections. These are all the ones from the Crystal Collection. I am decluttering all of these. I actually think that the formula of some of these I really do like, but I'm never gonna just reach for these over everything else in here realistically um, just because I need to st just start using things up better so um, just know like some of the things I'm going to be decluttering I actually like but it for practical reasons I'm not going to just let sit in my drawer for five years because I really want to actually start um, using up palettes and like really hitting pan on some products um, Urban Decay Born to Run I actually don't wear this as often as I want to I just kind of forget about it, but this is actually an awesome, awesome palette. And this is a palette that makes a great gift. It's like a very universal palette. A lot of people would be happy with this one. I am as well. I'm one of those people, but I just don't use it often enough because, well, because of this. So we're going to try to use that more. Um, hmm, we're going to get back to some of these because I'm a little torn on some things. Okay. Um, so Vahe from Becky G keeping this one love it as well i actually i didn't pick up the new becky g palette i wanted to buy it as a fan of becky g but i was not a fan of the color story it was basically all matte cool tone shades which are things that i never wear so love this one so much definitely hanging on to it um this one is from the bomb i thought i would wear it but i haven't at all so I got this, I think, in a boxy charm, and I was excited about it, but I've never, I don't think I've worn this, honestly. This is, this might be like completely brand new. So I am totally donating that or passing it along um, to a friend. And next up, this is my first um, full size palette. This is one of those things that I'm gonna keep until the end of time. This is gonna be passed down through generations kind of thing. At least the packaging i don't know this is part of like my life so um yeah i'm never gonna actually wear the palette but it's just one of those things i'm gonna own for the next 20 years and i have absolutely no problem with that i have very few things that i own that are older than this palette 
Um, basically, I'm going to get like probably in my feelings about certain palettes. And if you're ever wondering why, um, my parents moved out of the country and a lot of my childhood things like I don't own anymore um, and I don't have access to, they're just gone. So some of my makeup is kind of like the oldest things that I own personally and I have a lot of attachment to them. So we all got our things and that is mine. <laughs> Okay, so this is Physicians Formula Palette. Um, I am going to be decluttering this. I actually like their formula of the eyeshadows. Um, if you ever watched my video reviewing this palette, I had a really awkward, or not awkward, just odd experience with this particular shade. When I mix it with um, a makeup remover, it ends up staining my eyes. And why did I even like want to keep that? I don't know. But the rest of the shades were totally fine, but... Um, yeah, didn't want to keep that palette. Um, do we want to keep this elf palette? I honestly, I should pass this along because I actually like this palette. The formula is actually really nice. I'll swatch this shade that I really, really like. Like some of these are great in this palette, like beautiful shimmers and mattes, but that's going to be the case for a lot of things. And, um, there's so many palettes that I just can't keep them because the shades are nice. I need to keep like what I actually really love. Um, I don't think I'm going to use this I Love Sari ColourPop palette. It's one of those, like, I really liked it at the time. Um, I'm not going to force myself to fall back in love with palettes when somebody else can get use out of them. And that's what I just need to keep reminding myself. It's not like they're going in the trash or anything. Like, somebody else will use this palette and use it so much more than I would. And that makes me not want to hold on to it. So, we're doing good right now, guys. I'm going to get rid of this Zoeva palette. It was okay. Um, it's actually super new as well. I only got it like um, uh, earlier this fall maybe or end of summer. They sent me um, a bunch of palettes to try out and it was it was just okay. So I'm going to be passing that one along. Modern Renaissance. We're keeping this. It's basically nobody wants this. This is old <laughs> and used up. And this is just one of those palettes that I keep for frame of reference when I'm making like comparison videos. Um, and stuff like that. I know that might seem like a little odd to keep it for those kind of reasons, but I do make those videos a lot. Um, and I just wanna keep that palette. So it's a good enough excuse for me. Um, okay, Wonder Beauty. This one's pretty as well, but I don't need to hang on to this palette. Like actually the shades are really gorgeous in here, but I'm not gonna miss this palette and somebody else will use it. So that is the theme of this video. <laughs> Um, really great formula, beautiful, beautiful shades, but we are just turning over a new leaf. I'm getting a little nervous, like, with the amount of palettes I'm already decluttering, but it kind of makes me excited at the same time. Beauty Bakery, the Coffee and Cream Palette. This is a four-pan palette of, I think, eyeshadow palette. I only would wear, like, these two shades as, like, an everyday eyeshadow, but, um, I don't need it anymore. It's actually a great formula. I will tell you guys when the formula is actually great because um, some of the palettes I declutter are going to be good palettes. I just don't, for the sake of using makeup, I think I'm giving you like way too many disclaimers, but I feel bad or I don't want you guys to be confused if you're like, wait, I thought you recommended that palette. Why are you getting rid of it? But it's just that I don't, I can't use everything up and I want to make sure that somebody who will use it will use it. Um, here's another one like that. Jouer Tan Lines, this is a good palette. This is one of my favorite palettes from Jouer, but I don't use it often enough. Um, I have other similar shades in my collection, like this blue is gorgeous. These like foil shades are gorgeous. Um, but that's really the interesting part of the palette is the blue and the rose gold and the gold. The rest of these um, mattes, you can find in other palettes. These over here, I'm never gonna use. So that means I don't need to keep this palette. Like I'm not gonna miss it for just like specifically especially these two shades so somebody else can use that one next up this is from dose of colors i got this in boxy charm two months ago i believe this is the big browns palette this i actually really like this is a really great formula i should have actually put this in my recent favorites because it's a great formula awesome warm matte palette highly recommend it and i'm definitely keeping it as well okay let's get into the other hmm now that i'm saying i'm, I'm keeping this this is one of one of those times where things get a little complicated. No, I'm keeping this one too. Um, I feel 
You guys see my dilemma. I got one warm brown matte palette and another. I'm gonna use this one more. I don't think that I'm ready to part ways with this one though. Okay, I'm gonna keep both of them. I don't know why I, I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble if I keep too many of the palettes, but it's just like my me overthinking things. All right, next up we have Tarte Toasted, which is actually one of my favorite neutral palettes in my collection. I actually really wear this a lot. Um, so I'm definitely keeping this palette. I love warm brown shimmer palettes. This one has, like, I use every shade in here. I really, really like it. Um, Jackie Ina palette. This one is some good stuff too. Love these shades. I love combining my Anastasia palettes. Like I'll wear this with the Norvina palette, Sultry palette. Love that palette as well. All right, next up we have ColourPop So Jaded. This one is fairly new as well from ColourPop. I put this one away for honestly the last like month or so, um, but this is actually a really, really pretty palette and I definitely want to get more use out of it for sure. Um, some of my big palettes I end up just putting at the bottom of my drawer and kind of forgetting about them, so I want to stop doing that and definitely hang on to this one. Um, next we got Chocolate Gold from Too Faced. I definitely want to use this palette more. This shade is one of my favorites, like during the holiday season, like this cool tone silver, super, super pretty. This one also, I really like this one, Gold Dip. I just love these metallics for this time of year, so... I am gonna hang on to that one. Next up, this is the 18 Hit Wonder from e.l.f. I'm gonna be decluttering this one. Um, the colors I'm not gonna wear as often as some other palettes in my collection. The formula is good, though. I am gonna declutter some of these e.l.f. palettes, but I want you guys to know it is actually a good formula. It's just that I also just received um, some new palettes from e.l.f. and there's one that I really wanna try out that I think I'm just gonna get a lot more use out of. Um, it's more so the shades I wear regularly. Next up, this is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. You guys know I paid way too much money to declutter this palette. <laughs> I am going to use this palette until it turns to dust, until it's moldy, until it's falling apart. So I am keeping this one for sure. I actually really like this palette as well. I like the Metropolis palette more. It has shades that I'm more excited about, but really love the gold shades in here. Um, the Artist and Muse, another new palette. I obviously just got this palette, so it is not going to be decluttered at all. I really do like this palette as well. I did a review on that one recently. Jaclyn Hill Morphe. Um, this is one of the palettes from The Vault. This one is Ring the Alarm. So this was part of the four sets of palettes that were, um, like bad batches, and a lot of people got bad palettes. Mine is not bad, but... I don't even want to use it because I know, I don't even know if these exist anymore. Um, I know a lot of people got bad ones, so I don't want to use this like in tutorials. And honestly, just as a regular person, not even thinking about like my YouTube channel or Instagram, if out of all the palettes I have in my collection that are warm brown, this isn't like the one I'm going to reach for. So I'm going to pass this one along. Pat McGrath, I forget about this palette. See, it gets buried under here and like the treasure in my makeup collection gets buried on top of things that I don't even like. So that annoys me all the time. So it's my own fault. <laughs> but anyways, this is the Mothership Sublime Bronze Palette. This is a six pan palette. Just more like neutrally shades. It's the only thing I own from Pat McGrath. Um, and I'm gonna be keeping this one as well. I don't think it's like super amazing, honestly. I am kind of keeping it because it's what I own from Pat McGrath. I will give you guys that. Um, there's other things she's released that I've been more interested in purchasing it, but I just need to start using that one um, more first. This is the Sunrise Palette from Natasha Denona. Man, I put a lot of money towards Natasha Denona in the last year. Well, honestly, the Metropolis Palette I got as a birthday present. So, this one is $65, and then the other one's, like, super pricey, but this was... Um, a really good palette as well because it is still like it's expensive but it's not crazy it's not like the hundred dollar palette and it's also a really really pretty palette I wish that I used this palette more this fall because like some of these cranberry shades would look gorgeous for fall looks so I'm a little sad about that but we will bring it out maybe some Valentine's Day looks I don't know. We're going to start using this palette more. This is going to be in the keep pile. Next up, Norvina is one of my favorite palettes. We're keeping this for sure. 
I cannot get enough of these two shades. Some of my holy grails that I own overall, also this one. These shades are some of my favorite shades in my collection as well. Definitely, obviously, keeping Norvina. All right, so I'm pretty sure I'm keeping these all in my collection too, but we will chat about them a little bit. Um, Naked Heat, I honestly, this is a palette where I kind of just want to keep it in my collection for reference when I'm making Urban Decay Naked palette videos. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna keep it for now. I don't use this one often enough, um, but I still do like it enough to justify keeping it in my collection. I actually like everything in here. I just need to get myself to use it more. If that's not the case, in a few months, we will pass it along. Naked Cherry, this is actually something that I definitely want to use more as well, and I forget about my collection. I actually, I like this one more than Naked Heat, so I definitely want to keep this and start using it more. This is actually a really cool palette, purples, lots of berry tones, um, lots of shades that I don't have in a lot of other palettes. This is kind of different in my collection, so keeping that one. Next up we have Anastasia Riviera, and honestly this is very different from any other Anastasia palette I have. I honestly haven't used this since the summertime. And I think it's just partially because it was buried in this drawer. But also it's because this is way more colorful and I don't gravitate towards these tones on a daily basis. But I do want to wear this palette more and give it like a second shot for the winter time. And see, especially like this shade, Mediterranean. This would be gorgeous like with these. That would be like gorgeous like a winter eye look for sure. So definitely need to use this palette a bit more. That's just a palette that needs more of a chance in my collection. Next up, this is Sweet Talk by ColourPop. I got this, I think, sometime this summer. This is actually a really pretty palette. It's going to be really pretty for springtime for like lighter, peachy, pink makeup looks. I'm not really doing those looks right now, so it's been a little while since I used it. But it's another pretty palette from ColourPop. Next up, this is the Copper Palette by Persona Cosmetics. I especially like this shade of Copper in the center. I am going to hang on to this palette. Um, I really love the Persona formula. This palette's like, uh, honestly, a little bit more boring. Um, but I do really, really like the formula a lot. So I'm going to hang on to it. And I like the practicality of having like a smaller palette. Um, and then Soft Glam, another one of like my Holy Grail palettes i'm hitting pan on things here so obviously i like this palette a lot these two shades notice the trend of me like basically only swatching the anastasia shadows in this video but that's because the pigmentation is phenomenal and i just want to show you guys like some of my holy grail eyeshadows in my collection these two if i'm ever going to a lakers game i will wear this shadow combination but overall this entire palette is one of my favorite palettes all right so that is one drawer down all right guys so here is a visual of everything that was in that drawer and also if you're curious i did mop my floor just like 20 minutes ago before filming this for this reason <laughs> Um, but here is everything that I'm keeping and then here is everything that I'm getting rid of I'm obviously keeping way more than what I'm getting rid of but I counted everything up and I'm gonna count this like um, Four little quads from wet and wild. Let's count that as just one palette and with that being said there was 42 palettes total in this drawer I am keeping 27 and I am getting rid of 15 so that's actually a decent amount, you know, a third. I didn't get rid of half, but I got rid of a third, which I think is a good start, especially for the drawer that has the palettes I use the most. And if you're looking at a lot of these palettes, um, most of these I got within this year, a lot within like the last like six months or so. Um, yeah, so there is the first start. We turned all this into this, which is still a lot, but I think it's a good start. So I'm going to put everything away and then we'll move into the second drawer. All right, so I quickly reorganized this drawer. Um, I honestly spent like two minutes on it, but it already looks a hundred times better. I just did all my Anastasia palettes, the KKW Beauty. Back here we have Natasha Denona, my Too Faced Chocolate palette, some Urban Decay, some smaller palettes, the Too Faced Natural palette, ColourPop underneath, um, the Tarte palette. Back there is Pat McGrath. My big um, Kathleen Lights ColourPop, 
Alamar and my new Storybook Cosmetics palette. And this way I can basically see, other than like these two little ColourPop palettes under here, I can basically see every palette. It's definitely way more organized and just like really quickly and I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more. Um, obviously not all my palettes are just gonna fit in one drawer because I made all of these <laughs> just go in here. But it's definitely way more organized and I can keep track of everything. Um, and now moving into my second palette drawer. This has a lot older palettes. Um, it does have some of my newer palettes, like my Tati Beauty palettes in here. Uh, basically some bigger palettes and some older palettes. Um, one of my oldest palettes, this came out in 2014, holiday 2014. And it's one of those things that I hang on to for sentimental reasons as well. I get really happy every time I look at this palette and it just brings me back to when I got this and just like all my emotions behind that. Um, I'm, this is something, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this for life, but I'm not ready to part with this palette. It's not something I reach for, but it's just one of those things that, it's basically like a yearbook to me. Like I don't even own my yearbooks anymore and this is kind of like that to me right now because it's one of the oldest things that I have and it makes me happy. Um, this is from Ace Beauty. This is the Grandiose Palette. I got this in a BoxyCharm last year. Now this is a warm tone neutral palette that actually is worth keeping. The formula is awesome. Colors are awesome. Super pigmented. Like you get a lot of color payoff. I want to try more from this brand. I don't reach for this palette enough because it's in this drawer, but it is a gorgeous palette, gorgeous formula. Next up we have the Too Faced Pretty Rich Palette. And I was basically hanging on to this palette for these glitter tones particularly. Other than these like glitter shades, like this palette is not that exciting. So I'm going to be putting ways with this, especially because I have the um, Tati Beauty palette, which is a ton of glitter um, and a better glitter formula than this. So I am going to be passing this one along. I think that I'm also going to be parting ways with the ColourPop Shayla Perception palette. I did really enjoy this palette for a while. Like this is a gorgeous shade in there. Um, but I have like other ColourPop palettes that I like more now. And I also have that Kathleen Lights um, palette that is huge from ColourPop. It has a lot of similar shades too. So it's a great palette. I do recommend it. I did love it for a while, but it's just not something that I get excited to use um, anymore compared to some other ColourPop palettes. This Butter London palette I got, I think, in a BoxyCharm a month or two ago, and I'm going to be passing this along. This is still super new, and I'm just not interested in it. I'm also going to get rid of these little quads from Wet n Wild. I just don't have any interest in using them. This e.l.f. J. Kissa palette, I didn't really like this palette. I am not going to hang on to it. And you guys know I don't really wear shades like this ever. Um, I think I only used it like once or twice. And I felt like I really had to build up um, the colors to get them to show up. Um, this is the Identity 2 palette from Persona. This only came out a couple months ago. But this does have an interesting color story to me. And I do want to play with this a bit more. I am holding on to that one. Same with um, Rose Gold by Huda Beauty Dam. I'm really not going to get rid of as many palettes as I thought I was, um, but that's okay. I'm still going to get rid of some, and that's at least a start right now. <laughs> I think I was way overly ambitious when I started out this video, and I apologize if you guys thought I was going to be a lot more, um, try to get rid of a lot more palettes, but, but it is kind of hard, so... I'm going to just try to do my best here, <laughs> but holding on to this, I actually really like this one from Huda Beauty. This is my favorite Huda Beauty palette I own. I really love all of these foiled shades. They're super, super gorgeous. I love this palette for spring and summertime. Next up, this is Celestial Thunder from Dominique Cosmetics. I just got this in either BoxyCharm or Ipsy two months ago. This is actually an awesome palette. This shimmer in here is so good. Like Some of these shades are awesome. The matte shades, oh, I need to use this shade. This will look gorgeous for like New Year's. Um, the mattes in here are awesome as well. I just started playing around with this palette and I actually really like it. So um, really like this brand and really like that palette as well. I do have the Latte palette and also Dosa Colors Frankation palette and um, the Carly Bible Anastasia palette on my vanity. Just so you guys know, I am going to keep those on my vanity and uh, hang on to those palettes. But this is another palette I really like, Frankation 
from Dose of Colors. And then here is also the Carly Bible palette for reference. I'm still playing around with this one. It's not my favorite from Anastasia, um, but there are a lot of pretty shades in here. Oh, and also I do have the California Love palette from ColourPop on my vanity too. Sometimes I just have a few palettes that are like on my desk or on my vanity, so um, I just want to show you guys that I have those palettes as well but they're just not in my eyeshadow palette drawers right now. All right, so here is Color Rain Queen of Hearts. I honestly, I don't use this palette as much as I want to anymore, and just looking at it, I'm sad that I haven't gotten a lot of use out of it lately because this has so many of my favorite kind of tones. Um, so I wanna hang on to this for now. And if I don't touch this palette in the next six weeks, I will declutter it because I think I keep doing that with this palette. I keep going, um, in my declutters like oh I haven't used this in a while but I love it and if I really loved it then I would use it right um, so I need to I'm gonna put this in my next everyday makeup drawer and if I don't reach for it I need to pass that one along um, here we have Huda Beauty Desert Dust I think I can go ahead and let this go the only reason I keep this palette is for reference um, you know what guys, I just got the Alter Ego version of this palette, the dupe to it, so maybe I want to hang on to this for a minute. Oh my god, I'm being like so bad now. <laughs> but those are the kind of moments that I hang on to these palettes for, that, that time that I want like a dupe video or something. Oh, okay. Mm. I, no, no, we're not doing that game. We're going to declutter this one. Okay. No, I can't play that game with every single palette. Sometimes I just need to pass things along. Okay, moving on. Um, this is a little quad from Charlotte Tilbury. I am going to pass this one along. Some of my Charlotte Tilbury um, makeup I am going to give to family for the holidays. Um, this one's just not that exciting to me, but I know that like my aunt would enjoy this. Same with this Charlotte Tilbury palette. I think I was hanging on to this to give to her or to my mom anyways. This is just like a, such a simple neutral palette. Um, the shades are very, like the shimmers in here are a lot more sheer than I like. And um, I'm just going to give it to one of my family member that wants to just have like very simple eyeshadow look. I'm going to get rid of this CoverGirl palette as well. I actually really like the shades in here. But for the sake of space and also having a lot of these similar shades in my collection, I'm going to pass this along. But if you guys are curious about this formula, I actually do think it's a good drugstore formula for sure. Um... Which one is this one? This is a little more, see, if I don't even know what the palette is, I shouldn't keep it, right? This is one that I got in an Ipsy, I think. Um, yeah, totally gonna pass this along because I didn't even know I had it. It looks like a gorgeous palette, but I didn't use it, so not gonna keep it. This is the Persona 1 palette. Identity palette the um, version one. This is actually a really pretty palette as well Another palette that I'm excited to get more use out of now that I see it in my collection And it's not buried under other things. This is um, really cool if you want more of a cool tone palette And this shade is one of my favorites like the formula in here is so good like these are Gorgeous pigmented. This is available at Ulta a lot of times it goes on sale Check it out. It's a good one. My Broken Naked 3 palette is another thing that I'm hanging on to for life. Um, I got this on one of the best days in my life. So I'm going to hang on to this palette. If you guys want a story time video, I feel like I always say that in my declutters. But my 5 year YouTube anniversary is coming up next month. So I'm thinking I'm going to do like a video um, reminiscing on 5 years of makeup in my collection. Or something like that. Um, and I'll tell you all the stories behind the makeup that means a lot to me. So that is the only reason I'm keeping this. Am I ever going to put this on my eyes? No, but it's one of those things. It's like a trinket that you have to keep um, forever. It's one of those to me. So I'm going to hang on to that. Um, this is a wet and wild dupe to the modern Renaissance palette. I don't need it. I have the modern Renaissance palette, so I don't need this one. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's actually good. If you guys want a dupe to the modern renaissance that's actually really good quality this is five dollars i do actually really recommend it but i don't need it so i think i can go ahead and part ways with the subculture palette i only keep this for reference as well i will never wear this palette i have no interest in it um I just keep it for reference of if I ever make a video about the most powdery fall apart palettes in my collection <laughs> 
I don't know why I keep this. Um, I'm not, I don't need it. I'm never gonna wear this palette, so let's, I don't even know why I kept the box. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna declutter this one as well. This is another one I can't get rid of because I wore it the day I got engaged. So that is why it's still in my collection, even though I'm never gonna wear it. Um, I definitely need to make that video for you guys of like all the palettes that are sentimental or like all the makeup that's like sentimental and the story times behind them because I feel like I'm really robbing you of a proper declutter by having all these like emotional breakdowns in the middle of this video. <laughs> But this is the reason that this one is called um, Shadow Couture. Like, I'm honestly, like, I'm sweating and I'm getting, like, really emotional looking at this palette. And, okay, I'm gonna, like, cry. But, yeah, this was the exact shade I wore the day I got engaged and the day I got married as well. This exact dent came from those days. Um, yeah, so that is why I'm keeping this palette. This is... There's a lot of palettes like from when I was like starting my channel or like right before that and those kind of years that were like really pivotal, really um, monumental in the last decade of my life that I need to hang on to those things because um, the emotions that they bring, I don't um, recognize often enough and it just makes me like really grateful for some things in my life. Next up, let's talk about this one, this is so freaking big, okay? Like, how annoying. But this is also so good, and I, like, part of me wants to put like um, plastic wrap over this, <laughs> or something, because this, I just really don't, I don't want to keep this. It's like starting to annoy me. Um, I wonder if I can convince my husband to like put this in his office. <laughs> he likes the show, I don't watch the show. <laughs> Um, I, I want to keep this because I love this palette, the actual palette, but the packaging is so annoying and it's why I always have this palette, um, way back in my drawer because it takes up so much space and because I have to put it somewhere where it's not in the way, I end up not using it. Um, please let me know if you guys have this, if you have like a solution on how to store this. I honestly, like, I, I'm not even joking. Part of me just wants to put, like, some plastic wrap or tin foil <laughs> so it doesn't get messy. <laughs> but I'm hanging on to this. Point of my story is I'm hanging on to it because I really love the shadows, the shades, the formula of this palette, but this book is starting to get on my nerves. All right, so this is something I'm just gonna have to toss because this is very old. Um, this is another, like, thing that I was just keeping as, like, kind of collector's item. So this was a Itzy collab with Ready Set Glamour. She was a YouTuber. Um, a couple years ago, she stopped doing videos, but she was my favorite, favorite YouTuber for years. I loved her so much. I bought her collab. Um, but I need to just get rid of this one because it's old. It's not doing any good. And it's also, it's just like broken anyway. So it's really, it's just, it's not like a regular full-size palette that I could keep as like, nostalgia this is a little bit messy so i'm gonna i'm gonna need to toss that and it makes me sad um but it's it's not doing any good just today in my collection um this is the tati palette all my bigger palettes are in here this is the tati palette really like this palette glitters are awesome love the mats everything in here uh, i did a whole review on this um palette I do wish that this row of metallics was more, like popped out more and was more foiled and creamy. But the shimmers are still good in here, honestly. Um, I just feel like they can be a little bit more dramatic. That's my only complaint with the palette. The rest of the palette's amazing. And honestly, like these are still really awesome shimmers. And then I think I'm also keeping everything else in here. Um, part of me honestly wants to get rid of both. The Jaclyn Hill palette and the James Charles palette. A lot of the reason I want to get rid of this is just because it's so... Let me get rid of this, honestly. It's so big. It's still very new. Um, this is just one of those palettes that I want to keep for reference. For that off chance that I want to make another Morphe video. I don't know. This is, But this is just kind of a little bit too obnoxiously huge to keep in my collection. I know he made like a mini or a medium sized version of the exact same palette. Which I... Just found annoying because I would have totally preferred to buy a smaller version of this than this whole giant palette, but whatever. It's not my, it's not a big deal. That's really just why I don't want to keep this palette. It's just so freaking huge, even compared to the, um, 
Jack and Hill palette. Like this is an encyclopedia. And I did make a video comparing the shades and the formula of both of these palettes. I do like the um, Jack and Hill palette a little bit better. Um, but I am gonna get rid of that one. I'm definitely gonna pass it along. I might um, give it to one of my friends because that one's actually like still in really great condition. My Jaclyn palette I've used to death. And I was like a little bit sad with like the whole Jaclyn cosmetics thing. I did make like a rant video about it, but this still has like a sentimental value to me. I still have a lot of respect for Jaclyn Hill. Even if I was like disappointed with Jaclyn cosmetics, that's a whole nother video. <laughs> It really is. It's a couple videos back in my channel. <laughs> but I still have a lot of respect for Jaclyn Hill. And I think that this is an awesome palette. So I'm going to hang on to this one. Alright, so I think that this is another one that I just can't part ways with. This is the Master by Mario Anastasia palette. This is like a collector's item. At this point, this is very old. It's gunky. And I can't donate this. And honestly, like I feel like... I have like Beanie Baby Syndrome with this palette where I feel like it's going to be worth something one day. <laughs> I just feel like this is a little bit of a collector's item in my collection. And I realize and I acknowledge that I'm probably not going to use this palette very often. But it's okay. Like sometimes it's okay to just have things to... Ugh, I don't know what I'm saying. But I think you guys get my drift. This was limited edition, this was special, and I feel sad at the idea of getting rid of it, especially because it's so old, dirty, and used that I don't feel comfortable um, donating it, so I don't want it to go in the trash. <sighs> okay, we're keeping that one is basically my point as I run around in circles to justify everything that I don't use. Um, this is another thing that... I'm keeping forever. I think it was um, Christmas 2013 when I got this palette. This was my first ever high-end makeup product. First ever like real eyeshadow palette. And another thing that is like very um, meaningful in my life. And I'm like literally like gonna cry <laughs> thinking about all the times that I would use this palette and like just putting this on when I the year that I got this like just putting on this palette like spending like two minutes doing my eyeshadow in the mornings of that year those were like the only two happy minutes every day so that is why I keep this palette alright so we're finishing up with two more palettes that make me emotional two more throwback palettes um, so this was my first ever review video on my channel and it was I filmed it Super Bowl Sunday uh, January, February 2014. Um, yeah, th this video no longer exists, but just trust me when I say this was the first ever review video on my channel. It was when this just released, Semi Sweet by Too Faced. And that, dude, that was a hard year for me. So all these palettes that I got that year were like the, like, only hope at the time. So... I'm hanging on to this palette as well. Actually, it was 2015, which was a bit better of a year than 2014. But anyways, <laughs> it was still the first um, palette, um, first review video on my channel was this palette is all I'm trying to say. And it makes me happy to think about those things. So that's why I keep those things in my collection. Because it's not just my collection, it's just like my life. And also, Sweet Peach, I have a lot of emotion attached to this. This actually brings back a lot of happy memories from the year released. Um, this was one of those palettes that was like a video game release. Um, it was basically like the Furby of makeup, the Tickle Me Elmo of makeup. The amount of time I spent trying to buy this palette is a whole story time video in itself. <laughs> um... This was around that era of like Kylie lip kits when all of the makeup that was like super super hyped up would sell out in seconds and it would be like a whole um, drama on Twitter and everything but this is another good one. Another palette I honestly I still use this sometimes not often enough but I definitely still actually like this palette and honestly semi sweet I had in my everyday makeup drawer a couple months ago so this isn't just a sentimental keep this is also a practical keep because i still wear it sometimes okay <laughs> um but those actually i still like they're still like in decent condition <laughs> um but yeah that is 
everything. I am a little disappointed in myself. I did think I was gonna do a better job decluttering, but it's it's okay. I'll show you guys what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of. All right, so here are all the palettes that were in that second drawer. Um, I am gonna go ahead and count this Wet n Wild Duo as just one palette for the sake of it being just like um, smaller quads from the drugstore. And with that being said, this is 30 palettes total. I am keeping 16 palettes, all of these over here, and getting rid of 14 palettes over here. So roughly half the drawer. I know a lot of like the more high-end, newer palettes are on this side, but honestly, of course, those are the kind of palettes I'm going to keep out of everything. All right, so here is a look at my second drawer now, which is clearly progress compared to before, and I might still play around with how I organize. Um, I might move some of the palettes in here, in here, and vice versa. But check this out. Like, may not be perfect, but it is about a hundred times better than it looked like at the beginning of this video. Um, this just makes me excited for what I have. Makes me like hopeful about actually using a lot of these products again. Like, it makes me excited to reach for absolutely everything in these drawers. This one's a little bit like not as exciting because it's not as aesthetically pleasing <laughs> as this. I do want to play around with both drawers a little bit more just so um, it's like more exciting for me to like pick out the palettes and see them a little bit better. Just I want to find like the most practical way to store everything. So let me know if you guys have any tips, especially for this drawer. It's a little awkward. Um, I think the reason I like this one so much is like I have all my Anastasia. I have like everything like a little bit better branded. And then here is a look at everything that I'm decluttering. 30 palettes total. I think that is a lot of palettes. Like, it didn't feel like I was decluttering a whole lot, but 30 palettes is definitely a lot. Like, this is a whole third drawer of eyeshadow for sure. So, I think I did a decent job. I mean, honestly, that's that's a decent amount. I think I got about rid of about a third of my collection. So, not half, but... I think I did a good job um, with this declutter, even though it felt like I wasn't getting rid of much. But that's going to be everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like I'm a little bit weird about my declutters. I get really in my feelings. Um, I get mad at myself a lot. But yeah, sometimes it's just like a little bit emotional, like going through your things, deciding what to keep and kind of like getting mad at yourself or justifying things. And um, I hope you guys don't mind seeing that process. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was entertaining in some way. <laughs> but that's going to be everything for this video. Let me know what declutter you guys would like to see next. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.